Now we are going to start with another part of this reflection like as we did the reflection for plane mirrors. Now we are going to start with the reflection by spherical mirrors. So the first thing is that, that what are spherical mirrors? What are spherical mirrors? See spherical mirrors are those which have curved surface. The surface can be, can be curved like this and the surface can be curved like this. So, we come across two spherical mirrors. This is called as concave. You can relate it with the upper side of the spoon and this is called as convex. So, concave is that in which the reflection occur from the inner side and this is a polished surface. Reflection occur from this side and here the reflection occur from this side and this is a polished surface. So, this is the convex one. Now, we are going to start with the basic terminology that what are the terms which are involved in this. So, the first thing is that the first definition is that that you should know that what is an aperture? What is an aperture? This is an aperture let us say A and A dash is an aperture. Similarly, we can say B and B dash is an aperture. So, what is aperture? Aperture is a part of spherical mirror because if you will draw it, it will become a sphere. But reflection at a time do not does not occur from whole sphere, it occurs from a specific part. That specific part is called as aperture. Part of spherical mirror from which reflection actually take place. So, it is a part of spherical mirror from which reflection actually take place that is called as aperture. So, as I told you that uh, if we will complete this it will become a circle, it will become a sphere. The center of the sphere, the center of the sphere is called as center of curvature. So, what is we have another term now, what is that? It is center of curvature. So, what is center of curvature? It is center of spherical mirror. It is center of spherical mirror. Now, the line passes straight through the C. This line like if I draw a line passing straight through the C, this line is called as principal axis. This line is called as principal axis. So, what is that? Principal axis is a line that passes straight through C. C is center of curvature. So, the line that passes straight this or this is called as principal axis. Now, the point where this line strikes the mirror as you can see this is the point where it is striking the mirror this is called as pole, this is called as pole. So, what is pole? Another term, pole is a point on, uh, it is a point on mirror where principal axis strikes the mirror. It is the point where principal axis strikes the mirror as you can see that it is striking here. So, it is a pole, it is striking here the, the side, this is a pole. Now, let us talk about the nature of the uh, concave and convex mirror. So, we see that the, if we talk about nature of concave mirror, it is said to be converging mirror. I will discuss with you that what does this, these terms actually mean and convex mirror is diverging mirror. Now, what, what do we mean by saying that? See, suppose these are the rays which are coming, which are incident on concave mirror. It will get reflected like this, it will get reflected like this. So, what we observe that uh, like as many as uh, uh, means suppose there are so many rays which are falling on the concave mirror. So, whenever they will uh, reflect back, they are going to meet at one point, they are going to meet at one point. So, this kind of mirror which make all the reflected rays meet at a point is called as converging mirror. So, that means if we talk about the nature, so our concave mirror is 
converging mirror as i told you what is converging mirror converging mirror is that which make all the reflected rays meet at one point which make all the re uh, reflected rays meet at one point which make i'll write here which make all reflected rays meet at one point suppose you need to draw a figure also so just draw it this way let this is be your concave mirror this is this be your principal axis this be your center of curvature so make many reflected uh, make uh, many incident rays let's say this this like this so they will be reflected like this it will reflect like this it will and uh, even this will reflect like this this will reflect like this this will also reflect like so it is going to make all the reflected rays meet at one point so that is why we call it as converging mirror and what about convex suppose these rays are striking it right so they will get they will also get reflect so they will reflect here like this you know that bouncing occur in the same direction so what it is doing does it making all the reflected rays meet at certain point no it is just splitting the rays it is just splitting the rays so this kind of mirror is called as diverging so wherever you are using convex mirror you should know that it is a diverging mirror their nature remains same it never changes so diverging mirror is that which make all reflected rays you need to mention that what rays reflected rays make all the reflected rays split in different direction so that means if we talk about nature so concave is converging and convex is diverging i'm just drawing a figure again so let's say this is my convex mirror principal axis pole center of curvature this ray is falling reflects back ray reflects so it is a splitting in different direction so this is what we mean by saying diverging mirror now we have another term focus i'll write here and we have another term focus now what is focus focus is that point where the reflected rays are actually meeting or uh, where they appear to meet we see that like if we talk about concave mirror let's locate where the focus is so focus is a point where all reflected rays meet so this is that given point where all reflected rays are meeting so this is called as focus so focus is a point where all reflected rays meet and as you can say they are actually meeting so that means concave mirror has real focus because it is actually meeting but here if we talk about convex mirror you can see that it is just splitting in different direction so is it meeting no but if we take an hypothetical uh, situation or if we extend behind the mirror suppose i extend this ray behind the mirror i extend this also ray behind the mirror so they are meeting at certain point so that is again called focus but because they are meeting imaginary so we say that this focal focus is virtual so i'll just complete the definition first so it's a point where all reflected rays meet or also a point where they appear to meet both are called as focus so concave mirror has real focus because they are actually meeting and the convex mirror has virtual focus because they just appear to meet and the one more thing we'll be discussing that this uh, distance and this distance is exactly half so as i as i'm drawing with a rough hand so don't get uh, don't get confused this distance is always uh, this is always a half of this distance so keep in mind whenever you're drawing just make use of scales uh, so that you should uh, show clearly that this distance is what and this distance is what now another term we have focal length focal length is distance between pole and focus this is this distance this is focal length and even here also this is called as focal length so what is focal length it is distance between pole and focus it is distance between pole and focus and one more term we have radius of curvature 
it means radius of spherical mirror so it is a distance obviously uh, the uh, the center point is this so distance between c and p it is distance between center of curvature and pole so this is this complete is radius and this is focal length and you know that there is a relation between focal length and radius of curvature what's that focal length is always half of radius focal length is always half of radius that means this is always half of this distance and these distances are exactly same so that means for the complete radius is just half of focal length right and uh, this is what is how we relate focal length is half of radius so i think you got it these are the certain definitions the terminology which we are going to use in this chapter i think you got it that what is actually an aperture what is center of curvature this point what is principal axis the line coming straight pole point where it is striking N uh, nature concave is meeting making all the rays meet at one point it is just splitting so it is converging and diverging and focus point where it actually meet or appear to meet the reflected rays so real focus virtual focus focal length distance between p and f again p and f radius of curvature distance between p and c again p and c and relation between focal length and radius it is all focal length is always half of radius now we'll start with the uh, rules like how what are the rules actually which we follow when we draw a ray diagram and uh, how we are going to uh, draw a ray diagram for different situations so just look at the board so the, don't get confused it is not a difficult one right just do it in a happy mood and you'll be just uh, thorough with it